Hey everyone, it's Charlie Morgan here. Uh, in the last two years, I've scaled an info business from zero dollars to eight figures. I've gone from no one knowing who I am in my niche, the agency niche, coaching niche, to being relatively well known if my narcissism doesn't fail me. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the single most important thing that I did to make that happen. And drum roll please, drum roll please, trumpets please, product. Product is by far the most important thing. Before you click off and roll your eyes and say, oh, I was here for your email copy, Charlie, don't be an idiot. There's a lot of lessons to learn in this video and I'm gonna walk you through it. If you want to win, if you want to dominate, if you want to completely own a niche or be in the top, you know, among the top three companies that, you know, profits inside of a niche, as I am, um, then the product is by far the most important thing because your entire company, uh, your entire team, all of your systems, are built around the thing you sell. And so I've seen a lot of people in this space come and go, in the agency space. I'm not gonna name names. When I started, I looked at it and I was like, oh, can I beat them? And then I looked at their product and I was like, yes. <laughs> It won't be fucking difficult at all because the products are many things. So in this video, I'm gonna run you through my product, Easy Growth. This video is gonna seem like a weird, like indirect pitch. For full transparency, Easy Growth is for sale. If you want to buy it, there's a link in the description. That is the last time I'm gonna mention you buying it or booking a call or anything. But I actually just want to walk you through how much care and effort and attention has gone into the product. And I'm hoping that by doing that, it inspires you or gives you some sort of like idea as to how you can improve your own product because it's the main thing, dude. Like you have to imagine it like this, right a business is like you've got to imagine you've got an ocean and then you've got rivers flowing out from the ocean product right is the ocean of the company that feeds the rivers the rivers are the systems of the business right so if you imagine that the purpose of a river is to deliver fresh water to villages or you want you want the rivers to be flowing properly you want clean healthy rivers right you want them to be you don't want them to be bottlenecked you don't want dams you don't want you don't want sewage you don't want pollution you want healthy clean rivers right that denotes a successful system like so obviously you've got this sea in the middle the ocean and then you've got the estuaries that the, the, the rivers go out to the product is the sea which is the is the source of the quality of all the rivers that flow from the sea so if the sea is dirty if the sea is shit if the sea hasn't been properly thought through and you haven't put much time and effort into making sure the sea is clean i.e. a good product, then all the rivers that flow from that sea as the source of the rivers will naturally be bad. This is why like my sales team crushes it all the time. My YouTube channel crushes it all the time. My clients crush it all the time. All of the systems like my accounting crushes it all the time. But all of my systems in my business that are upstream of my product do well, which is basically everything. I'll get into it in a second, but I'm gonna hop into my computer with Loom and I'm gonna walk you through what my product looks like, right? Because you might not know. And I just want you to see how much effort and work it takes to build something that truly does work. Because I'm sure you've bought courses from people before in this space and your disappointment is probably immeasurable, right? So I'm gonna walk you through what a eight figures company's product looks like. This is our core stone, pretty much our only product right now. And um, I'm gonna walk you through it. And I'm hoping that by doing this, like you just, it gives you some indications, let's go. So here we are. Now I'm gonna start off with a mental model heuristic I use when it comes to looking at my product. When I look at this product, I feel a bit uncomfortable because I'm painfully aware that it can be so much better, right? So I have built, and this is my opinion, perhaps I have a false sense of security, but I have built what is, this is the best thing on the market. No, I do not think that anyone has a better product than us in terms of solving the problem of high ticket client acquisition. This is an undisputed fucking Mike Tyson is prime for the rest of his life sort of shit, right? However, when you think you've got the best thing, you stop trying, right? And there's a quote, the father who thinks he's a good father is not a good father. So if you if you fall into the trap of thinking, oh, I've got the best thing and I'm, I'm great, then you stop trying. And it's through trying that you do become the best and you stay the best, right? So whilst I know from a conviction standpoint that I've built something that's unparalleled and nobody can beat, I am also constantly terrified that it's shit. So I have this dichotomy that I, I frequently consciously balance between my head. We've got the best thing. There's no question about it. You'll see in a second. But I am constantly afraid that it's not good enough. Like I actively, every time I log in, I'm like, this isn't good enough. Like, how can I improve this? Like, what can I do to get better? And that's the cornerstone, the mindset you need to have for having a good product. You have to have the conviction that it's amazing because otherwise you can't sell it. But you also need to have the doubt that it's the worst thing in the world so that you can improve it. So without further ado, in we go. So we have it in school, pretty simple, right? You'll see what I mean in a second by... So rule of thumb, the only way to really build a good product is to put in a ton of effort. Really all it takes is just effort. That's really the main thing. So obviously we've got a community group where people post and stuff like that. What I wanted to actually walk you through here is the classroom. First of all, we'll start with the calendar. Problem we solve with this product is we help people acquire clients. 
right? So we have, I think, roughly what, like 12 to 15 coaching calls run by experts every single week. And we, we, we pay, I don't know how much we pay, actually. I need to figure that out. But we pay a lot of money to have external experts come in and run masterclasses, um, health and performance coaching, sales coaching, e-com service delivery, mindset coaching, sales call audits, loom cold email coaching, Imperium founder coaching calls, local business service delivery. So we pay, we, we actively pay money to have people in the community run coaching calls. Because like, this is the other thing about like, what, what people don't get in the info space. It's like, if you look at any other business that's successful, they have a research and development department <laughs> where they spend, they actively spend money on trying to improve their product. In the info space, that's very, very, very rare to find. And so, yeah, there's that. But let's look at the classroom. This is my baby, right? So what we're looking at here is basically nine different pieces of the puzzle. So we'll start here. Masterclass is pretty simple. Whenever we find someone that's really fucking good at what they do, um, we get them to come in and then we pay them to do a masterclass on like a specific topic, if that makes sense. So that's that. Before we actually get into the juicy stuff, I'll walk you through some other bits and pieces. So agency service delivery, walks agency owners through how to deliver a service. This is a 65 video course on service delivery, right? So if you hop in here, you can see foundations, um, onboarding, how we ran our agency. Then we've got systems vault here. Gonna load, yeah. Like lead nurturing, like you can sort of see, like there's no team building, for example, as well. Even the gym growth accelerator, which was the module that we used to sell the gym owners, like you can sort of see here, like this is just one small course inside of the whole thing, and this is like a seventy video um, video series on everything you need to know about service delivery, including exactly how we did service delivery for our clients how um, a professional e-commerce agency does um, email marketing, how to build a team for your agency, um, and then just like all of the systems we ever use, right? So it's kind of like, first of all, from a value standpoint, that's just, and I know this is like me bragging, but do you know what? I'm fucking gonna brag because our product's fucking insane, man. Like this is just one piece. Just, it just sort of sat in there. Just like, yeah, it's just service delivery. It's just like 70 videos on everything you need to know to deliver results for clients, right? So then we also have coaching call recordings. So Bo and I have been running this business since um, February 21, and every single group Q and A we've ever ran, we upload into here, right? Which means that clients have access to basically answers to every single question you could possibly imagine. I've done like one or two coaching calls a week with my community for two and a half years. So it's all there, right? But where it gets juicy and exciting is with these modules. So this here is my pride and joy. This is Acquisition Genesis, um, which teaches people my paradigm for um, client acquisition, which is the most important thing. This took me, so what you're looking at here is the foundational module of Easy Grow, which is basically, hey, here's how we think about client acquisition. Here's exactly how we approach it. Here's everything you need to know to build your own systems, right? This module alone, these 11 videos, took me about three and a half months to make. And I calculated it. <laughs> for every single hour of work that went into, like for every single hour of recording for one of these, each of these videos, about 30 hours of work went in. So that's, the, this is the amount, this, this is effort. This is what I'm talking about. Because this, this module, for example, Acquisition Catalysts Offer Creation. It's a three and a half hour video on how to actually create an offer right? Like how to do it. Most people, right? Most courses on, on how to do this, you get in there and then you find out they've just copy and pasted Hormozy's $100 million offer thing. And they haven't put any thought or attention into it. You can see there's like a fucking three hour powerhouse. So I spent, basically I spent about 100 hours on this video alone, which means that real thought and critical thinking has actually gone into it. And you can see here, you know, we've got this PDF, for example, and it's literally like, it's literally just nonstop. It's like 35 pages. That's just one video. This is what I mean by effort. I've put more effort into one video, into one course inside of the whole program than most people put into their entire course. So you're setting a new precedent. Another example, Morgan's systems theory. Three hour video on systems thinking and all of the mental models we use to approach building systems. This is a powerhouse of a module. Once again, you know, each of these comes with a PDF that is basically like equipped to just completely like, you can see the like, gal, oh, I love it. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge, right? So you have to like, you have to, 
it's a pain thing, man. Like, how much do you love your clients? How much do you really want them to get results? And don't tell me you do, show me. Show me with the level of sacrifice and effort you're willing to put in. This video here took me, no took me 90 hours to make, right? Iterative Darwinian attraction, 90 hours of work. Forces of irrationality, about 60 hours of work. Asymmetric psychological leverage, a video that explains every single cognitive bias you could possibly need to know to persuade people. It took about 100 hours to make. If, you're, if you don't believe me, like 88 of them, like I don't believe that, look at the size of this thing. Right, it just goes on and on and on. You call, call it the bias codex. Like people think client acquisitions like, oh Charlie, just give me your email copy and your sales script and I'll be fine. I'm like, no bitch, here's 88 cognitive biases that you need to know so you can build your own thing. We believe in empowering people and in, in giving them, what would you call it? We, we believe in equipping our clients with the paradigm so they can take responsibility for the problem instead of constantly relying on like an external third party. Because if you try and get someone to do appointment booking for you and you don't know how it works, you're gonna be in for some trouble. Anti-fragile system design, right? Walks you through exactly how to build acquisition systems. Seven steps, all mapped out. And this is just one module. <laughs> it took me three months to build. But it's so important, man. It's like, it's, it's such a, um, it's the paradigm is so important, which is why I put so much effort into it. So that's acquisition genesis, right? Just, that's like one course and each video there has more effort put into it. This is how you take over a saturated niche. Because all of my clients, right, all of the agency owners, coach consultants who buy this thing have been f royally fucked by, you know, been royally fucked by multiple people before who have sold shit products to them. So when they get into this and they click on start here and they're all skeptical and then they, they, they start watching like acquisition catalyst, they think, oh my God, someone's actually put some effort in here. Someone actually cares about me. Someone sees me as more than just the ability to make high ticket money, right? Self-transcendence, seven videos, once again, three, two to three hour long powerhouses, right? Each of these took me probably, I don't know, man, this is fucking hell. Self-transcendence took me to a dark place. <laughs> it was a dark time making this stuff, man. Like I suffered immeasurably, way more than, actually Access and Genesis was by far the worst to make. Dude, I sacrificed everything for that module. I, I, I didn't go to the gym. I sacrificed all my friendships. I sacrificed my health. Like everything went to shit because of action genesis. But same thing with um, self-transcendence. This is our mindset module. So like, here's the thing, dude. If someone gives me money, if someone trusts me with a significant amount of money that means that and that money means a lot to them, I will go to the ends of the earth to make sure that they receive what I promised. And this isn't like a virtue signal, like, oh, I'm so amazing sort of thing. But people are trusting you. Another human, another consciousness is, in, is trusting you to do what you say you're going to do. So don't you fucking dare tell me that you can't be bothered to put time and effort into your product. And that you, you put it together on a Saturday afternoon and that's good enough. It pisses me off, man. Eyes of Providence teaches paradigm. Nature of aim teaches goals. Protein self evolution teaches how to change yourself. Breaking your chains, trial by fire, by the way. This is actually on my, um, isn't my internet gonna work? Trial by fire is on my YouTube channel. Um, so is Nature of Aim. But if you type in Charlie Morgan trial by fire, like I'd recommend you watch that because it's a very good module. But you know, that's just two modules, right? So collectively, three months of work, probably once again, like three months of work. Sales systems, dude, we've got like two to three hour long videos on how to sell, conquering objections parts two. This contains um, the Imperium Rebuttal Vault, which near enough gives you like script by script objections <laughs> handling advice, like exactly what to say for every single objection. You know, also our sales SOPs, this is fucking insane. We give all of our clients, get all of our standard operating procedures for basically everything, right? And these took me, guess what? Like a whole week of work to make. So if a client's like, oh, I want to onboard a sales rep. Like, what should I get? How should I train them? I'm like, dude, just give them this PDF. And we give them near enough everything. <laughs> you know, you've got um, line of questioning, new appointment, what do you do before the call, taking payments, everything down to um, commission tracking, right? There's an SOP for it, right? You know, where like, it, it, how do I pay my sales reps, Charlie? Okay, just watch this, just have this thing. Right, it's like I built this for clients because if you don't have it, then you're not, part of what you need is missing. 
So my approach to solving problems for people is no stone unturned, give them everything, right? Um, hiring sales reps, right? We give them our entire, um, like the job, the job post template, the interview process, the onboarding thing, the contract, even the NDA template they need to use with them. Like it all needs to be there because I don't want any reason for someone to fail. There's a, um, there's a strategy that Amazon uses. Um, Jeff Bezos is pretty renowned for this. He calls it eating your customer's complexity, right? If you think about what Amazon does, they have the lowest prices, the widest selection and the fastest shipping. And that's what customers want, right? That solves the customer's problem of how do I find the, the, the widest variety at the lowest price with the fastest shipping? That's what, that's what they want. To build systems that deliver those three things, the, the amount of complexity that you have to eat, right? To do that is fucking insane. But I'm trying to do the same thing here with my program where there's nothing that someone wouldn't need that they don't have. And it just takes a lot of work, right? Now where it gets spicy is the, is the systems for appointment booking because what does everyone struggle with appointment booking? So as of me recording this, I believe we have 16 or 17 different systems for appointment booking. So outbound, let's have a look at this. So we have, um, I mean, we've got Terminator Loom system, which is a cold email, cold loom system that we built that books, I mean, you can book like appointment, one to five appointments a day. DM sorcery system, which is our cold DM system, right? Once again, like SOP configuration, give you an example, right? If I walk you through this, we walk you through how to configure all the standard operating procedures. We even give you um, set of payouts, right? Standard operating procedures. We even give you the SOPs. It's all mapped out, how to hire setters, et cetera, et cetera. What platforms you should use how to lead source and platform, like everything. And this is just one system inside of one module inside of the program, right? So yeah, it helps. Divine dialing system, which is our cold calling system, right? How to cold call, right? Rainmaker loom system, this is another way to do cold looms through like a, an automation and some cool software. Um, the loom system, which is a quantity based cold email play, which is another way to get appointments. And the Wellby system, which is a cold DM system that uses LinkedIn. So here, like we have, I think seven different ways of doing it, like outbound. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Right, if you include Loom Systems Foundations, which you should, six or seven, six or seven ways of doing it. Um, because, dude, if someone joins the program, I don't want them just to have to rely on one thing. So we had to build it. Inbound systems, right? So we teach people how to build organic YouTube systems, content marketing systems, social content systems, right? Email newsletter systems. Facebook group systems. Oh, I don't know why school's been so buggy, but you get the point. This is just like most people, like, they'll, they'll package up a course, they'll, 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 make, they'll spend a week putting together some modules because they are weak. They'll, put, they'll spend like you know, 10 days making the thing. They'll whack a six grand or 10 grand price point on it. Then they'll start running out. Uh, it's just, it's disingenuous, man. Like no effort's been put into those products and if you want to, like, there's people all the time. Charlie, how did you do the, how did you get so far in the agency space? And like, this is it. Like, I'm not showing you this to like show off my product, although it feels very good doing so. I'm demonstrating it because this is the cornerstone of my business. You wanna know how to go from zero to, to eight figures in two years and maintain 65% margins, never have a team member leave you and have a refund rate of like less than 1% and a dispute rate of less than 1%. and a garner love from every single client that ever joins you. Do you want to know how to do that? Just build a fucking good product, man. It's the only thing that matters. Every, if, if you just nail the product, everything else gets so much easier. Product is, is just... It, I hope I'm making a good enough point. You have to have a good product, right? So we, talk, we teach the inbound stuff, right? And there's YouTube systems on like... And what you'll notice here is like, what I realize clients want is they just want systems. They want to be able to watch videos that just like, they're, they're very little philosophy of stuff. You know, they just watch the systems, they build them, right? Then we have paid systems, right? So we walk people through how to build Facebook ad systems and how to build YouTube ad systems, right? We actually had Brian Moncada, who runs my YouTube ads, like a dude's like an absolute, he's probably the best person to run YouTube ads ever. And um, he made like a whole module for us on how to do YouTube ads. So it's like, you know, if you, if, you, if you add all these up, you've got like 16 different, 15, 16, 17 different systems for appointment booking. I'm hoping that this is starting to become clear to you because I, I've, I'm, I'm getting a lot of people these days asking me like, well, hang on mate, what, how have you done this? Like, what's going on here? Why, how have you gone from zero to like eight figures, blah, 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 blah. 
in such a saturated niche and it's just product truly all it comes down to man is building something people love and you know obviously as a result of the product you can build a pretty insane offer which is what we have and you know it's like for example just to give you one example of why it makes the business better right now we've got like seven or eight sales reps i don't manage them i don't have to manage them because they have so much conviction <laughs> in the thing that they don't need to be managed like most sales if a sales team needs to be actively managed something's wrong like the best reps will manage themselves because what I like to look at it like is if I've, if I've got a sales rep, if I go to them and say, hey, today you're going to be selling lottery tickets that are guaranteed to make people $100,000 and you're selling them for $10,000, off you go. Do you think you need to manage that person? If they have that much belief and conviction in the thing they're selling, and then you don't really need to manage them because if, if, if they've got a good incentive and they feel like they're selling something amazing, that's most of your work done. I wanted to just make this video I can show you some wins and stuff as well. This is the other thing, like people are like, oh, like, how do I get testimonial videos? Or like, how do I, like, blah, 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 blah. Like, if you hop over to our website, right, this is something else that makes our marketing a lot easier, makes our acquisition um, system a lot easier. It's not gonna work. But if you go to imperiumacquisition.com and you go to results, right, look at this. Look at this. I'm just gonna scroll. These are all results from clients that we've accumulated over the last two years. This is what happens when you build a good product. You have so much undisputable evidence that it works. So much conviction you can build in someone, all because you just put some bloody effort in. Look at this. You can literally pause at any moment and you'll find the results, but let's keep going, keep going. And to the bottom, right? Look at this. Can you name a business in this info space that has a trust pilot? <laughs> I can tell you why people don't have a trust pilot. It's typically because like they're they're not like they would struggle to maintain their reputation. You know, for transparency, man, we've got we've got like a couple of one star reviews. This person was a client. The other two people were just people that didn't like our sales process, right? Um, this person was also a client. So you know, dude. We can't please everyone, man. Like, to be honest with you, like, you know, we've, we've signed over a thousand people at this point. A couple of them didn't like us. Fine. But, you know, that's fine. Look at this. This is all, this is all sentiment of people. 300 reviews, like 298 of them are five stars. It just, I, and, and I just can't, like, tell you, I just, I'm hoping that you're starting to, I'm starting to drill this into you. We've got 15 pages of Trustpilot reviews. A never-ending scroll of results, like dozens and dozens of, probably nearly 20 at this point, client interviews. You just need to have a good product, man. It's worth the pain, it's worth the effort, all right? And you have to love it, this is the thing. If you don't, if you don't love your clients, if you don't love your niche, it's very hard to sacrifice a huge amount of work and effort to put into it. I hope this video, in some way, shape or form, sparks a fire in you to improve your product and um, take better care of your clients because if you don't have the best product, you can't win. It's as simple as that. If you want to own a market, if you want to dominate, if you want to get to eight figures, you want to fucking just take over the space you're in, you do that through product. Everything, remember the analogy, you've got the sea, the ocean is the product, and the rivers, they're all upstream. Thanks for watching, if you're new, subscribe. I promise I won't sell you something, so I'm not gonna, take care.